Oh, they're great. They're great. If you can't, uh, they can't get you up for a game. I don't think you can go anywhere and get excited about anything. And uh, um, they're tremendous. And I, th I think it's sort of like having a sixth player on the ice sometimes. Um, they pick you up when you're down. And um, if you've got momentum and you're ahead, I tell you, there's just you know, a little bit of extra help to, to keep you going. No, it, it's almost like a, like a rock concert. The people really get in it from the national anthem. And, it's, uh, and we come off the road and we're a little tired. They give us a big left and get the adrenaline going. Well, they're by far the loudest in, uh, in the league. I mean, Boston might come close, but uh, they're just great here. They, uh, they're behind us 100%. Well, I think they're the greatest. Uh, you know, the fans are really uh, getting, us, getting, up, getting us up for the games, and they're, they're, uh, they're always behind us. So, uh, you know, they got to be the best in the entire world. I've never seen anything like this, and uh, obviously, uh, you know, I like to play in this building, too, because it's probably the one reason, because of the fans. Well, there's no question they're the best in, in the league, and the um, other teams, when they come here, that's all they talk about is our fans, and they're the greatest. Well, you know, I played in a lot of different places in my career, in a lot of college rinks, and uh, in the Olympics, I got a chance to play in some big rinks all over the world. You know, I've seen the... I've played right in Moscow. I've seen, you know, the best teams in Moscow play, and I've in Prague and Czechoslovakia, the best Czechoslovakian teams, and all over the North America. And, uh, you know, there's no comparison at all anywhere in the world. You know, with the fans that we have in Chicago, they're, they're the kind of fans that uh, that stick with you. You know, you can go out and play not well, and they'll be behind you. Or if you're having a slow night, they'll they'll try to get you going. I mean, they're they're with you 100% from start to finish, and. Uh, you know, they're very loyal and boisterous fans, and you just don't find that anywhere else in the world. A lot of places like, you know, even in Canada, I mean, they, they just sit there and watch the game like it's a movie, and they wait for the players to wake them up. Well, in Chicago, if the players are sleeping, the fans will wake the players up. What's your favorite arena to play in besides Chicago Stadium? I think uh, the best arena to play in is something like Boston Gardens, because it has a lot of atmosphere, and it's, it's very similar to the... Uh, Chicago Stadium, you know, the, the fans are a really part of the game and it makes for a really lively and eventful game. I like uh, Minnesota. I think it's, uh, it's a big uh, ice surface and uh, also the ice is real good there. So uh, I've had success there before and uh, it's probably the best building that I like. I like playing in Boston Garden. You know, that's where I grew up and uh, as a teenager I used to work over there in the Bull Gang, you know, changing over the stadium from hockey to basketball to wrestling or concerts or whatever. So. You know, it's always a real thrill for me going back there and playing there. I played there in college as well, and you know, I really look forward to it. It's, it's, it's kind of lousy that we only get there once or twice a year, but when I do go there, it's something special for me. And what's your favorite memory associated with hockey? Favorite memory? Oh, well, um, I guess it was last year when we beat uh, Minnesota in the semifinals uh, in six games, uh, final game in overtime. That was a great thrill, and I have to say that was probably the biggest moment of my career. That's a hard one to say. Probably the first goal I scored in the NHL. Uh, it was the first game of the first year that I ended up staying here, and that, uh, I think it was 81, and it was against Toronto. Well, I think it comes down to when I was a kid. Uh, you know, when you play professionally, I think it's a business now. It's not a game anymore. When you are a kid, it was a game, and uh, got a lot of good remarks and a lot of good things I remember when I was a kid, so uh, the best thing is probably when I was uh, age about 10 years old, we won that tournament in Ontario. I'd like to say it was winning a Stanley Cup, but that hasn't come about yet. Um, I guess probably uh, uh, the night uh, I got a hat trick against Vancouver. I, I'll always remember that because that probably will never happen again. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's hard to say. I guess, you know, the natural would just be winning a gold medal. I mean, that was kind of a thrill, but, but you know, the real, the biggest thrill I had, I think, was was when I was in college. You know, we won the NCAA championship in my junior year in college. And uh, at that time, there were two guys on the team that I had grown up with, you know, as a child, you know, kids that I had come up with in my hometown. And uh, that was the first thing of any real substance that I was a part of, part of, you know, winning an NCAA championship at that time was the biggest thing that, that's ever happened, you know, to me in my life at that time. And, you know, when the, by the time the Olympics came around, you know, winning that was great, but I don't know, it wasn't as big of a thrill as that first time, you know, winning the NCAA. Uh, I guess one year uh, when I was with the Flyers, we made it to the Stanley Cup Finals, and uh, that was something pretty special to me. And if I'd like to create a future memory, I guess I'd like to win the Stanley Cup.